Namaste everyone this is Nishchay and welcome to our channel Fire Dream Reality so you as you know already uh, we are going to share our experience here um so i wanted to tell you something about ontario's real estate market uh today uh today i am making this video on march 12 2021 from mississauga so right now real estate market is on their hike so it's too much up people are paying above asking price people are paying too much for their first time home so uh yeah there are some some reasons for that because the mortgage rate is all time low right now uh, you can get if you have good credit you can get mortgage as low as 1% some banks are giving uh, as low as 1% interest rate so people are they just wanted to buy anything so they are looking for any any houses which is not renovated they are okay to pay over asking price for that home so i wanted to clarify few things here uh, if you are a first time home buyer if you are thinking the mortgage rate is too low for you just think that those mortgage rate you can fix it for 5 years okay so if normal mortgage rate would be 3.5% and right now you are getting for 1% you are saving 2.5% mortgage interest right now but you have to uh, make sure that that rate will will be remain the same for next 5 year after 5 year, 5 years everything would be normal okay so count your numbers so you should get you know you should put over asking price uh below those those numbers so if you are saving in this interest rate if you are saving like $10000 every year because of the low mortgage rate you should count for 5 years you shouldn't go beyond 50000 over asking and you can go over asking if you really like that property right now people because of the low mortgage rate they just wanted to buy so they are uh, looking for the property for like 10 properties 15 properties and at the end they get tired and they think you know anyways we are getting low mortgage rate let's just buy something so that is not the way you uh, look at the property the property should fulfill your all the requirements even your future requirements so you have to uh make sure your future requirements if you have kids the schooling should be nearby if you are a uh, uh, aged person like more than 60 years there should be some some hospitals nearby there should be some facilities which you can you know go within 5 minute distance something like that so make sure you 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 talk with proper real estate sales person and you uh get it uh, get those information done that your requirement match with the property which you are looking for and it should be in uh, the proper budget it shouldn't go above or asking right now uh, i can see that most of the properties already fix their price too high uh, let, let me give you some real life examples so right now um, i i know one property which uh, which the uh, the seller put it on sale before one and a half year uh, on 800k in mississauga right now they just put the property uh, 900k for selling and someone the first time home buyer gave them 968k so they got 68k over asking price so you know in one and half year the property price the property which is not uh, you know uh, able to sell for 800k it sold for 968k so that is too much that's what i think okay uh, so i'm not i'm not going to you know put my ideas on you it's just my point of view i am sharing with you guys um, so yeah so we went to see a property in kitchener uh that is a condominium uh which has around 425 condominium fee and it is a nicely not fully renovated but semi renovated uh townhouse uh two story townhouse with uh, unfinished basement and they put it for 
320. So we compare the price uh, surrounding that area and uh, last year mostly the townhouse uh, condo, condo townhouse uh, were sold for around 270 or 280 in just one year in six months i guess they increased the price up to 320 okay and the number were, were okay for me and uh, we like that that townhouse so we put the offer so because right now like every everything is going up or asking price so we put offer uh, instead of 320 we put it 340 okay we put 20,000 more on that property so the the there 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 are mostly seven seven uh, offers on that property and my real estate salesperson he says like uh, we have to increase the offer and this and that so i was like no this is the max price i wanted to go for that property and after two days we found out that property sold for 420 100k above asking price so that is what going on right now here and hopefully the price doesn't come down but maybe in future i'm thinking that the price will you know will be stable right now people are buying because they think the mortgage rate are low but they doesn't think that is not going to stay for 25 years that will be stay just for five years so they have to count accordingly and uh, you know that is a human nature if you dream about your home and if you if you start looking for home if you start hunting for your own home first time home buyer they they already developed so many dreams about their first home and they mostly convince in their mind that they are going to get home in next three months what you know whether they have to give the over asking price or whatever the reason so mostly first time home buyer uh, go like you know goes into this trap that you know they they just wanted to buy anything and they end up buying you know the property which is not a perfect match for them so i advise first time home buyer just take some time for yourself get some knowledge get some more knowledge about the real estate properties uh, and the real estate market you know wherever you are mostly if you are in canada if you are in greater toronto area or if you are in ontario just check out some videos just check out you know the facts and the developments and the zoning uh, where you wanted to get the property the uses you wanted to use it for just residential or residential or commercial or commercial only you know those things matters a lot uh, the schooling uh, you know you, whatever the school you need is nearby or not there is a bus stop nearby or not uh, the commute is okay from your work or not so there are a lot of things you should consider before buying home and uh, about over asking i i am personally uh, i think this is too much so you know you have to calculate your numbers first and then only make decisions don't go emotional don't go and attach any home emotionally uh, so my my brother my brother usually uh, says that like uh, if you're going to see the home uh, don't marry the ho home okay usually you know uh, people go and see the home uh, because the home is already they did the staging and they did the cleaning up and there are um, you know good um, there are good vibes uh, coming from the home and they set up everything as you know you can see that home as your own first time home buyer as your own home and then you like that home so much and you you are like you wanted to put whatever the price they they wanted to sell like even above asking price so that's what happening right now don't do that if if you if something you like just stretch yourself um, to that limit uh, when the property is actually priced so if you are giving more than that price you are you will be in trouble in future so so make the uh, make the informed decision in your mind and discuss with the real estate salesperson and 
yeah that's 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 it for the day for uh, that's it for this video and let me know anything if you need uh, any help regarding real estate uh, comment below or um, you can dm me on my instagram page uh, which i'll put it here so you can go there and you can send me the text there all right take care bye bye